your gut is likely leaky, which means that endotoxins leak through, and those endotoxins interfere with serotonin and dopamine binding in the brain. So not only are you not making enough serotonin and dopamine, what you are making, you're having a hard time binding it because these endotoxins from a dysfunctional gut are inhibiting it. And then finally, the inflammation that you get from a leaky gut, right? chips the system and causes the tryptophan to become quinolinic acid, which is neurotoxic rather than serotonin and melatonin, right? So you could see then just taking something like anxiety and depression and brain function, how a singular issue, which is gut dysbiosis, can attack the brain in three or four different manners to drive someone into the, the down the road of anxiety, depression, you know, suicidal ideation, dementia, all of those things, right? So hopefully that helps address for people and provides them an understanding how dynamically important the gut is for your overall health, right? And one thing wrong with the gut mm -hmm. can really trip up the system in multiple ways.